And what I want you to know today is that you're not just anything. You're not just a teacher. You're not just a nurse. You're not just a banker. You're not just a doctor. You're not just a veterinarian. You're not just anything. Paul makes it very clear who you are. Look at what he says in Galatians. If you belong to Christ, those of you who have put your faith in Christ, this is you. You are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to promise. Here's what you need to know about that promise. It has nothing to do with Abraham. And as a result, it has nothing to do with you. As a matter of fact, God put Abraham to sleep when he enacted the promise so that it couldn't be said that Abraham had any part in it. Just like Christ died on the cross before you were ever born, before you ever committed one act of sin, before you ever took your first breath, before you ever tried to do anything good, Christ died on the cross. It had nothing to do with you then. It has nothing to do with you now. Your responsibility is to believe. You believe in Christ and his work on the cross and God raising him from the dead. And then you belong to Christ. And then guess what? You're an heir according to promise. You're not just a sinner saved by grace, just holding on till Jesus comes. You're not just a product of your past and your bad decisions that you've made. You're not just anything. You are a child of God. You're an heir according to promise. 